Cardi B does not want to talk about that Met Gala fight. Now, it wasn't the fight at the gala. If you're watching our show, if you follow your hot topics online and stuff, you know this allegedly happened outside of a party. Uh, yes, there was a whole lot going on, including a man who came back and gave him the hammer. Like, ran back and kept, there it is. Ah! I mean, well, it's alleged, we have to say alleged now, all of a sudden there's a legal ramification. So it's alleged to be Cardi B's crew. Well, Cardi B is there, Cardi B's about to have the baby, Cardi B, this man wanted an autograph. But here's what she said when she was asked about it the other night, and then we'll talk. Were you aware of your security team's intention when they roughed up that autographer? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you were not there, Cardi? You don't know, like, I'm legally not. You, 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 did not, you did not hear the autographer taunt your security team or your bodyguards? I'm legally blind. So Nobody got roughed up? Okay, please leave her alone. She's a pregnant lady. She said she was legally blind. I think she meant legally binded. <laughs> like, she can't, she can't talk about it. Uh, all we need is a weekend in the house and a trip to Michael's, and I swear we could... <laughs> I... I mean... I don't know where your taste lies, but this is so me, it's ridiculous. <laughs> the problem is it's a one-time wear. She probably paid like $5,000 or $8,000 or $10,000 for it, then you can't wear it again because it's so outstanding. I'd wear it again anyway. <laughs> anyway. So then she goes on Howard Stern and Howard asked her about it and um, she, or excuse me, Howard asked her about everything but never asked her about this fight. Now you know Howard, if you know Howard, the deep root of Howard, Howard will ask anyway. So a combination of him getting older and, <clears throat> listen, it happens, him getting older but also him going along with this, uh, this, this legal thing where he can't ask her about a fight that we clearly saw. We clearly saw that, right? Yes. Okay. Anyway, um, this guy apparently was asking her for her autograph. And I told you this story yesterday. But what we've learned in the last 24 hours is that he was egging on the guys, daring them to hit him. You take a look and listen very closely. Mm -hmm. Shut up, bro. Oh man, for autograph? Damn, that's serious. I'll take all your money, bro. Please, please beat me up. Please, brother. Hey, I'm popping me there, bro. And he laid there like that until he was helped by um, the ambulance. He's probably saying that he's got a broken everything in his body. <laughs> and even though we all heard him egging on security, this is a lawsuit that he can win. Because security isn't supposed to be that damn stupid. Aww. You know? <laughs> Just cause somebody throws an egg doesn't mean you're supposed to catch it. Now, now unfortunately, listen, you can't let them bait you. I remember one time many years ago, me and my husband and my son, we were having dinner at the um, Willowbrook Mall in New Jersey. They had the, um, I think we were at the um, Chili's there, okay? <laughs> Three people, lovely black family in the area. <clears throat> us, I'm talking. <laughs> Next thing you know, a shadow is cast upon us as we're sitting eating our food. It's King of All Blacks, this guy from the Howard Stern Show. So, <laughs> no, this is what he calls himself, so, you know, I'm going with this. So, King of All Blacks comes over and says, hey, but it's like egging my husband on, and little Kevin is still, Kev was only like maybe eight years old at the time. Like, you're egging on a proper family, and my husband, thank God, because you know Brownsville. Ooh, never ran, never will, but you have to learn how to compose yourself. We didn't move so much as a flinch. And King of All Blacks, you're an ass for doing that. Yeah. Trying to bother me and my lovely family. But you can't, you know, people are waiting to bait you. Whoever you are out there in the streets, including people who pump their brakes because you might have a real nice car and they might drive a hoopty. 
and, 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 they, and they're in front of you, they will pump their brakes so that you purposely hit them and do all that other kind of stuff. Don't fall for it. You better go home and mind your own business. It's not, it's not good out here in the streets anymore. People are looking for it come any other way. On a side note, Offset, Cardi B's baby's fa uh, father, soon to be baby, uh, she's having a girl. Um, so they're at the Met Gala. Afterwards, they go back and change clothes, I guess for the after parties and things like that. They go back to their hotel. They had a penthouse at the hotel. So he has, well, I don't know which one. Anyway, there was a $150,000 chain that was stolen from the hotel suite. The night of the gala. Inside job. <laughs> Offset said, all right, well, you know, yeah, the suite door was open, but I'm sure they probably had, you know, when you roll like this, the whole floor is probably yours, or at least, you know, five floors down. Have you ever done that? Where, you know, you know people in... <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, no, no, no. I mean, like, if you're here and your girl's here and your people are here and whatnot's the night before your wedding, and doors are just kind of open or clocked open and people are walking in and out. So I suspect an inside job. Uh, somebody less than smart in our, uh, in our morning meeting still trust hotel safes, which you know, everybody's got that combination. Even when you think you're setting it, you know, to your baby's birthday or whatever, they got all that stuff. This is what you do with your belongings. And I'm not saying do what I do. I'll tell you what I do, okay? First of all, if you're not wearing it, then it doesn't belong on the vacation, number one. And I mean wearing, wearing tit. Like you're not taking anything off. You know, my earrings might jab me in the, in the neck while I sleep, but no, I'm not taking them off. Not in here. And your passports, any other jewelry, any other stuff, you drop them in your pool bag and you go down to that pool because the best place for your stuff to be, honestly, is with you. And, and, when you're in the pool, you don't do deep dips and dives. You know, you glamour swim. You know, a little toot, 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 the whole, the whole time watching your bag. The whole time. Anyway. All right, let's move on. how much money though that guy will get because they, they beat the stew out of him, right? <laughs> but we saw him egg them on, right? Yeah. Clap if you think he'll still get paid. <laughs> yeah. It's so easy, sticks and stones break bones. You can call me whatever you want in these streets. I am not falling for it, I'm not doing you. I'm not letting you pump my, your brakes so I hit you from behind. I'm not doing any of that. I know what you're after. You know what people are after out here. We're lovely people, but they're people who are evil. Yes. And they're trying to get you. Yes. 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 In, um, yeah, yeah. Oh, by the way, by the way. By the way, including people who come do, th do things at your home, you know, you want a light bulb change, next thing you know, it's purposeful that he falls off the ladder. Oh. See, make sure your home insurance, uh, make sure all that insurance is up because They'll do you in, and you never know where it's coming from, so you just trust no one. Except for the Wendy Show. Yeah.